What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today I want to talk about the Call of Stars event that is going to be happening this week. So there's a couple things we really need to focus on, and that is mainly wishing coins. Now a lot of you guys are saying if you're earlier game players, it is tough to get to that kind of magic 800 wishing coin number, maybe less depending on what you actually have as far as Vesta copies, lit up avatars, and of course, hero copies. So we're gonna talk about everything you need to save up, plus talk about ways to maybe get more of those resources to make sure you don't miss out on anything in this event. So let's jump into the game. I'm going to talk about the different things you probably need to save up now. By the time this comes out, the event's going to be live. So you're going to have one day less of what I'm telling you, but this is something you need to understand. So let's jump right into it. <laughs> So in this Call of Stars event, the main reason why we're so amped about making sure you get these points is because this event has the option to get a Punisher of Immortal, which is the best offensive artifact in the game right now, essentially, for most game modes. You need to get to that magic 100 number of resources. Well, in order to do that, you need to do a mix of these Fairy Queen's Blessing quests. Starting out, First off, you need to figure out how many of these Vesas do you have? Do you have a five-star Vesa avatar unlocked? Same with the six and same with the 10. Once you figure that out, you then have to realize, wait, I need to save all the five-star heroes and all my four-star heroes because I need to do tons of fusions this week to get to 30 five-stars. Now that's not too bad for most people. Most people do save a bunch of five-stars in their bag for Heroic Miracle and other reasons. This is one of the reasons you definitely need to pull out as many five stars as possible. And then you need to come up to the top row here for wishing coins. So the magic number, like I said, is 100. If you can do everything down below here, you're already halfway there. You to, you're to that 50 point mark. Now, if you only need to do this 50 times, that means you need 400 wishing coins. That's not that bad to get. Even if you start saving right now, one big reason is you need to have some gems and there's a couple different game modes that you can get some wishing coins in pretty inexpensively. So let's talk about all the ways you can get to that magic number, because even if you can say maybe only get the Vesa and you can get those five star heroes, that's 35 points. You only got to come up with 60 or 650, sorry, 65 points from the Wishing Fountain event, which again, is not too bad. That's, uh, let me see what that is there. So that's 650, or uh, rather times 0.8. Uh, 650 times 0.8 is 520 Wishing Coins. That's still not that bad to accumulate, even in a one week span. So let's jump into the game and I'll show you the different ways to save these resources. So number one, again, just come in here before you do anything else. Make sure you take a look at your forest avatar. See what you have unlocked. I'm just on one of our free-to-play accounts. We have a five-star Vesa. Uh, we don't, or actually, we even have a six-star Vesa, but we don't have a 10. So the first thing I try to calculate is, can I make a Vesa to 10 star this week? The answer is no, so we're not even going to put that on the table. The next thing is, well, I have five stars saved up. How many can I get to? Do all your math out. Figure out how many you have. Do all of your fusions. I, I have a ton of four stars saved up just for this situation. Um... Getting the 35 star heroes is perfect. You can fuse them up, that's fine. You can pull them from the bag, you're fine. You can summon for them, that's fine. So if you have cores of transcendence, I would highly suggest you save them for next week because those five stars for every core will count towards the event. Now, the other big topic here is wishing coins. I only have 464, uh, so I should get 30 from my hero copies and I will get 10 more from both of my Vesa avatars that I've locked, unlocked the six and the five, which means I need to come up with 60 more points. Well, 60 more points, I'm not quite there when it comes to wishing coins. I believe 60 points, let me just do that real quick, 60 times 0.8, because of course you only have to use eight coins for every 10 spins. That is um, 480. We're really close. We're basically there on this count. But if you're say maybe in the one or 200 range, you can still get there. How can you do that? Well, one of the things you consider is your celestial island. If you are on a mission that is going to end within the next week, well, one of the things you can get to pop up, I don't know if I can actually get it to pop up while we're here, but you can get the shop to pull up. The shop is a very, very good priced 
wishing coin purchase. So that's one thing you might want to consider doing if you can find the shop. Again, I don't think we will. The other thing to consider is you also can go through and see how much you already have in your cargo hold because you might have actually found some of those along the way. Although I think this mainly super wishing. The big thing you are looking for here though is going to be the shop. I don't think we're going to get it. I'm just trying to see. Maybe we get lucky and maybe we have it in our shop as well. We're good on this account, but some of our other accounts we do need to purchase some. Looks like we won't find it. But again, check every day if you do have them. That is great. Number two is tavern quests. There's a lot of tavern quests that give wishing coins, even at three and four star. I highly consider going after those as well as gems. Those are going to be really great. Your marketplace, buying eight of them a day for a full week. That's not a bad deal. Seven times eight is what, 56? So that's a decent amount of coins. Uh, definitely go for it if you need them. The other really, really big spot, which you might have two to three opportunities to purchase from, is going to be Aspen Dungeon. If you're in death, which most people should be, um, you're probably going to have a very easy time. You can get bunches of them, and I'd probably prioritize the senior merchant before any other one. You can purchase them here for 500 gems. That is a good deal. Uh, you can also find them for gold as well. So not only just the gem offers here. Let's see. You can find some for gold. Perfect opportunity to get them. Spend your gold. If you absolutely need to, I would purchase these though. They're not a horrible deal. They're much better than the last option we're going to give you. So definitely save them up here. And then of course, um, if you absolutely need to, you can come down to these. 175 for 5 versus 300 for 10. You can tell obviously you're saving uh, 25 gems on that transaction there. But again, in your primary, you'll probably have a couple options to buy them for 750,000 gold right here you can buy one of them up here uh if you're really close don't worry about spending the gems if you're gonna spend gems let's see what the best deal is 20 for 50 or 500 so so 500 divided by 20 of them that's 25 gems per in here if you're close for the daily what is that so that's 240 gems divided by eight it's actually a better deal not buying them from the marketplace and instead buying the top deal right here. 200 for or 20 for 500 is a good deal. Uh, you're losing out on the deal the second you jump here. The marketplace is the second best spot combined with buying them from Celestial Island Adventures if you do get them to pop up and your ship is going to make it back before the end of the week. The other option here is also just directly in the Wishing Fountain, which I don't really recommend. You can always buy them 50 gold each. You can kind of see the value here. If I buy 20 of them, remember in the, uh, in the Aspen Dungeon, there are 500 gems. You're paying double the price here. Not that great. And even if we buy like eight of them, 240 is what you'd get them for in the marketplace every day. It's 400 here. Is not great. And even when we're talking about 10 of them, that's 500 versus the, uh, what was it? 300 in Aspen Dungeon. So Aspen Dungeon has some really great deals, but this is the very last resort to get them. Because if you're translating gems into pay to win artifacts, that's not the worst thing in the world. So overall, those are the different options you can get through it. So you really have to go back to your image and figure out exactly what you need. So like I said, do the calculation, see what you can acquire. Maybe you can't get all 30 of those five-star heroes. Again, they can be in any faction. Um, see what you get for Vesta copies and then see how many wishing coins you have because it's really easy accumulating wishing coins so long as you have some gems to spare. It is definitely worth using your gems for wishing coins this week instead of using them for the chest or sky labyrinth or any of those things. Getting the pay to win artifact is your number one priority. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Let me know in the comments down below if you didn't know about any of those. Let me know if you think of somewhere that you can get wishing coins that I didn't talk about either. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Good luck this week and I'll see you guys next time.